All right, everybody, welcome back to the Big Loop Dynasty series here on Madden 24. We are now in week one of the 2024 season. The preseason was really for me to kind of mess with my team, check out the playbook and see what was going on. There weren't anything too crazy that occurred, but we'll go ahead and summarize the trades that uh, happen around the league, followed by what our lineup now looks like for this first week of the season. So across the league, you saw a couple different moves from teams that nothing too crazy, but there were some pretty interesting ones. You saw Charlie Jones from the Bengals, along with a seventh round pick get traded. In return, Elandon Roberts is uh, going to head to Cincy. So they have a lot of middle linebackers. The Patrick Queen trade, I think probably was the, the reason for that. This one was kind of interesting, J.I.E.R. Brown along with a uh, future fifth and a current seventh goes to the lions and in return they send a lean mcneil so they're trying to buff up that defensive tackle spot with no longer uh, arc armstead being in that spot i think they're trying to figure out how to continue to uh find some room there and lee mcneil's a really good player you got Onzu onru zuriki over there i think in in um in Detroit backing up DJ Reader, so I think they just got too many players in that spot. We went ahead and sent Aaron Robinson and Chris Wormley over to the Titans. In return, we brought in Dylan Radunes. Radunes was a backup, uh, currently on the last year of his contract as a right guard. And again, I'm trying to figure out ways to work with that right guard position. That right guard, right tackle spot is still in flux for me based on the preseason. Illumin, uh, we'll, you know, we'll talk through the right tackle. I think Illumino earned that spot initially, but like Evan Neal, um, I got a, another guard over there right now, and we'll talk about that, and Redunes. We might see a shuffle there in that spot. So we're going to continue to try to figure out that mix, but I think we're, uh, you know, we made a right move. It's you know, player for player kind of move there. We didn't lose any picks, so it's all good. And then the last trade we did, or one of the last trades we did, was uh, we actually sent three players to the Niners. Uh, the reason why we did this is one, uh, I sent them Jalen Mayfield. They needed some depth at the right guard position. I think their current right guard is might even be a lower OVR than Jalen Mayfield. Jalen Mills, based on what we saw in the preseason, just wasn't the right fit. The guy was just poor poor pursuit angles didn't tackle well it was really tough and i felt like man we're just not going to deal with him <clears throat> and they only had four wide receivers on the roster so i figured gunner can be their all-time returner leaving room for iuk and debo to kind of do what they need to do we went ahead and brought in drake jackson he was on their block they've been wanting to get rid of him for a couple years now he just hasn't been the right fit and i figured you know what we get some depth on the d-line and um, you know maybe he ends up doing a little bit better with the new uh, uh, defensive scheme that we have. And then we went ahead and made a move here where we traded Damian Harris and Robert Tunyon to the Jets. And in return, we just received like a future seventh round pick. They needed depth at running back. They only had two on, the uh, on their roster with Hall and uh, <clears throat> Benaconda. So I figured, you know, why not give them Damian Harris and they also need a depth in the tight end role too. Um, the other moves we decided to make here, we sent Joseph Noteboom over to the Broncos for a future seventh round pick. This is more for depth for them. They needed some help at left tackle and we weren't going to have him. And then uh, we sent Cedric Wilson over to the Rams. They only had three wide receivers on the roster. So we get like a sixth round pick for Cedric Wilson. I think Wilson did okay in the preseason, just not the overall fit for us. So I felt it was time to move on from him. And I'm kind of glad we did. Cedric Wilson looks like he's going to succeed pretty well over there. They got to worry about Puka Nakua and um, Cooper Cup. So he might, he might eat pretty well there. Other teams made some moves. Carrington Valentine leaves the Packers, gets traded from the Packers, along with a future fifth round pick. In return, the Packers receive Sam Williams, which I think is a very good move for them. Um, A.T. Perry leaves the Saints. So the Saints give up a fifth round pick and A.T. Perry to the Jaguars. And in return, they receive Devon Hamilton. Very weird move, but they do need to retool that old, uh, interior line. And then uh, at the very end, we sent Yannick Ngakwe over to the Jaguars as their D-line. Just needed more depth and we, we received a seventh there. So a couple late rounders for us. 
but all in all, I think we actually had a really good uh, preseason. Um, I'm really excited to see what we're going to do here. As far as our lineup here, here's what we got going on. You got Andrew Thomas at left tackle. Runyon, to me, has earned his spot to play left guard. We got John Michael Schmitz at center with Evan Neal at right guard for now and Illuminor at right tackle. The tight end crew is still kind of light. A lot of youth there. But Bellinger, Kager, and Stoll are going to be our lead tight ends in this spot. We had to cut Manhurst. It just did not work out for us um, at this time. The wide receivers, Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be out there along with Darius Slayton, Jalen Hyatt, Malachi Corley, Wandell Robinson, and Isaiah McKenzie. Running back right now, I do have Devin Singletary as the one and J.K. Dobbins as the two with Eric Gray and Brightwell there. Brightwell earned a spot um, on the preseason, played very well. On the defensive side, uh, Javarius Owens actually had a really good preseason. So I felt one, comfortable with having him play the starting role there, but two, um, having him lead that spot. So Ronnie Harrison was one of our free agents and we went ahead and moved him to free safety to kind of help out Owens. Pinnock and Belton are be running the strong safety role. I think they've been do they did okay there. Now this linebacker role here, it's gonna be fun. I'm interested in seeing how we kind of make all this work out, but I got Kayvon Thibodeau, Micah McFadden, Okereke, and Burns as the starting linebackers. Aziz Jalari, Beavers, and uh, and Gibson are gonna be playing backups there. Currently right now, I got uh, Johnson, Lawrence, and Donna as the starting o uh, D lineman, but I do have Do a door list there and Drake Jackson, along with Riley and Gibson there to kind of help out. More than likely, we'll see Dra Jackson move up after this week, but I just wanted to see how all these pieces kind of work together along the way. Cornerbacks, I thought Bry uh, Bryce Hall played really well, former Jet. So I'm going to have him play on the outside with uh, Deontay Banks. And Trey Hawkins and Richardson, one of our rookies, is going to be playing, you know, back up on the outside corner depth along with Christian Fulton. Special teams, I saw some interesting things with McKenzie, which is why he beat out Gunner. McKenzie can be used as a special teamer, but he can also play in the slot. So I just felt it best for us to kind of knock out one position with uh, uh, two positions with one player. Specialist roles, Avante Maddox is on this team and he's going to be the starting uh, slot along with Cordell Flott and Christian Fulton. I have uh, this pa package right here, rush package, I think is going to be pretty nice. Burns, Lawrence, Donna, Kayvon Thibodeau, Okereke, and McFadden with backs up, backups of Beavers, Gibson, and Aziz Jalari. I think this is a very good crew here that can get to the QB. Uh, Wandell Robinson will be our starting slot, but Malachi Corley looked good at certain parts of the preseason, so he's going to take slot two with McKenzie behind him. McKenzie could move up uh, the list there over Malachi, but I think uh, I want to make sure that he plays when needed and most likely just uh, you know be a backup because he's a better special teams guy. Devin Singletary will be the third down back, but I do have Brightwell playing the power back over J.K. Dobbins. I just saw more with Brightwell in this preseason. I think... There was some patience that on how he ran the ball because he's not the fastest, and it was kind of neat to see how he played. As far as the practice squad is concerned, I got two QBs there, DeVito and Leary. Who's to say one stays more than the other by the time the season's all said and done? Tyrion Davis-Price is one of my favorite players as far as depth is concerned um, when I watch the league. I think this guy could be a really good running back. Um, maybe he ends up surpassing the guys on the depth chart down the road, but having on the practice squad for now is not bad. The Browns cut David Bell, and I found it great and a great opportunity for us to keep him. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the practice squad. Houston was on the practice squad last year. He earned a spot to stay there, and who knows if he gets activated down the road. Azudu and McKeithen, I think them being on the practice squad just gives him time to develop. We got Evans here, Davidson. Uh, on the on the uh, D line there, and then I picked up Ogwobu, who I thought has some good uh, fundamentals. He's actually really good at tackling, and he's decent speed. So I thought that worked out along with Jibinor. And then one of our draft picks and Hopper just didn't make the cut based on the needs that we had. So we're gonna put him on the practice squad for now. It's not to say he's a bad player. I just feel like we we gotta you know play with the guys that we got and. Hopper was like a later round pick from what I recall. It might have been like a third rounder or something like that. Um, he was a sixth rounder, man, never mind. So late rounder for sure. And 
I, I gotta I gotta remember like it's gonna be okay. We'll see. We don't open up practice squad stealing until week six along with the trades. So anything can happen along the way, but uh, I'm happy with this team and I'm looking forward to this game. So let's check out some of the storylines here. First is going to be the camp standout. It is Azizul Jalari. They end up, uh, they don't end up doing anything once the actual season starts. I think you're different. We'll see, man. Uh, I've never been more ready, coach. I didn't put all this work in just to come up short. I'm here to make plays and help this team win. We'll see. I'm really interested in seeing how Kayvon plays. I thought about moving him into the sub linebacker spot to give him a chance to attack, but I think he's better off the edges. Um, so we'll see what, what can happen there. Opening day storylines are out, and it says, uh, you know, we got a fresh start, and we'll be facing the commanders. What's the key here? I think for me, it's uh, we want to establish a rhythm, dictate the flow of the game, and get big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. Obviously, every offense wants to be balanced. Uh, what's your main focus here? Uh, mine's going to be, it's a passing league, whether you're leading or trailing. Passing is the best option for yards, points. So be able to put the, uh, so, to, so being able to air it out makes sense. So 350 yards, that's a lot for Daniel Jones. But who knows, man? I, I think we, we've set up a decent uh, game plan, and I, I think we got a shot here. So before we check out the uh, depth chart for the commanders, it looks like Austin Eckler, newly acquired running back, former Charger, will be out this game with the ACL sprain. Now, they still got Brian Robinson there and Chris Rodriguez, so it's a solid group none, nonetheless. But not having to deal with Eckler for the first game, not a bad day. So the Commanders look like a pretty new team now. Jaden Daniels from LSU is their new is their new starting quarterback. Running back's going to be Robinson, and it looks like Dylan Laub has earned the spot over Rodriguez. Uh, wide receivers are going to be McLaren, Dotson, and MVS. That's a pretty quick group, along with Damian Brown. And then you got Zach Ertz over here with Dan Arnold and John Bates. Left tackle, Jawan James. Uh, that's kind of interesting on that one. Forrest Lamp at left guard. Tyler Beat is at center, Sam Cosme at right guard, Andrew Wiley at left tackle, a uh, right tackle. Left end, Dorrance Armstrong, former Cowboy. You got Clennon Farrell over here, former Niner slash Jaguar, or Raider, excuse me. And now you got Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne in the interior. Left outside linebacker, Jadavian Clowney over Braswell. And then you got Bobby Wags and Frankie Lubu in the interior linebacker spot with Jamin Davis. Corners, Benjamin St. Juice, Forbes, and Griffin. And then you got Forrest, uh, Dare Force at free safety, along with Jeremy Chin at strong safety. They got a decent group, man. I'm telling you, this is not a bad team. That left side might work for Kayvon Thibodeau. We'll see how he go does against Juwan James, but this is going to be a fun one. Well, here we go. Our first game in MetLife Stadium. We'll talk about our schedule for the rest of the year after this one, but this is going to be fun. Daniel Jones going against Jaden Daniels. They got a nasty uh, receiver in McLaren over there. A new number 26 for the New York football giants behind, uh, in the backfield. This is the game I've been waiting for. The commanders ready to take it down. We are hoping to start this game with a dub. Daniel Jones, right? Everyone's been saying this guy's doubted. This guy isn't the true thing. I think he's got something left in the tank. Now, the coach here, you know, they never allow you to create some new coaches and stuff, but the coach is uh, Mr. Um, uh, Vrabel. Vrabel actually is now a like, a like a specialty role, like an assistant or something like that over in Cleveland. That's going to be interesting what they do over there. Looks like the commanders are going to kick this off to start it off. We get the ball. The Giants at home, ready to roll. Here we go. McKenzie with the return here at the one yard line. He's got some room there and that's a bad return. Number 41 gets him and not the greatest of starts here, but it's time to get pumped. DJ hoping to stay healthy today. Let's get it done, man. Daniel Jones. So with first and 10 here, we're actually starting off. It looks like JK Dobbins in the backfield. We have some formation subs to mix some things up as well. There goes Dobbins, trying to get loose. He gets maybe a yard. That's Deron Payne who finds a way. No luck on that one. The 
coming out in a wide four here. We're going to try play action potentially and see how this works out. We rush it. DJ has time. And it's all. Oh, it should have been caught. 13 Emmanuel Forbes with the block. So the Giants are looking at third and nine now. Definitely not the start we were hoping for, but we got to move through it. We're going to flip the field here. Try to give Marvin Harrison a little more room. Slide the line over to the right. They got a uh, three-line set here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no. Jadavian Clowney just had the entire side to himself. What a mistake off that right side. And that's the issue we're dealing with, right? That right side of the line is not great. Oh, we got a flag on the play. That might be roughing the freaking kicker. It is. So the Giants get the ball. Oh, we get a favor. We get a favor. So we get to start with first and 10, pretty much where we were at the beginning of this drive. Here we go, first and 10. We're going for an RPO here to Darius Slayton. He catches it, maybe about a two yarder there, so nothing crazy. Single back formation here. Harrison checking, making sure he is not off the line. Giants, man. Jadavian Clowney on the right, it's pretty nasty. And it's caught! He floats it out. What a play by Harrison there. And the Giants able to get their first conversion. Nice little touch pass. Made it work. Harrison with his first catch right now in reg season. There it is. The Giants dealing with the aggressiveness of that D-line right now. The O-line is in a little bit of trouble right here. Singletary doesn't get any yards on that one. We got ourselves second and 11. I need a Luminor, man. I need you to get it right, dude. You got to get it going here. 7.51 left here in the first. DJ's got time. Throws a floater there. 20 was on it. Martin did not let the, t uh, the tight end go. Oh, that's tough right there. Third and 11 now. Defense trying. Oh, I, I think I see something here. We got Verts. Verts all across the board here. DJ trying to make an adjustment. It's just making sure we're good there. We're going to block Singletary. Let's see what this cover two does. DJ's got it. He's going for the bomb. He almost caught it. It got broken up. Oh, man. That would have been sweet. So the Giants don't really do much on their drive. They had the ball for half of the quarter. They're going to have to boot this away. Special teams ready to roll. There's Trey Hawkins with a chance to tackle. Stiff arm right there. Bounces off defenders. Tackled by Okereke at the 27-yard line. And here's our chance to see the rookie. Former LSU Heisman Award winning quarterback, Jaden Daniels. The guy is pretty solid, man. He had a tough start of his career year. I remember when he was playing at Arizona State. It wasn't the greatest of things, and he had to move around. And I think that's, you know, some of the positive things that you see going on with the transfer portal is them being able to move from one place to another. Doorless trying to get there. Breaking tackles there is Dotson. Doesn't get too far. Gets a five-yard gain. Way to roll out right there by Daniels. Defense trying to give him a couple different looks here. Throws an out route. It's caught by the tight end. He gets the first down right there. Good throw to Zach Ertz. Six-yard gain. Defense. You know, some of these guys are new to the team, and hopefully they can find their way to get this done. I formation set here. It's a heavy run set. They're going to run it. And there goes Robinson. Nowhere to go. Cave on Thibodeau. Avante Maddox getting involved there. Loss of a yard. Oh, no, no gain. Excuse me. Empty base. I'd love to see my defense get here. Get to the QB, man. Throws it over to the flats. 
It's caught right there by 89, maybe a three-yard gain, so the defense gets it done on that one. That's MVS's first catch as a commander here. So third and seven. Defense giving a couple different looks here. This is now a dollar set. Going to try to see if we can QB contain. Big sack up front is Dexter Lawrence. His first sack of the year. Dexter getting to the QB quickly there. And the Giants defense holds it down. So both offenses not able to do much on their first drive. Let's see what McKenzie can do on this return here. Got an opportunity down at the 27 yard line. Here comes Daniel Jones ready to roll. Coming out in a heavy rush set here. Hands it off to Brightwell. Brightwell gains about four there. Second and six. That's Clowney, man. Clowney on this team is kind of unfair, too. A pretty good group. Slide the line over to the right once again. Do not let this guy get loose. Throws it low. Oh, Manhurts is on the team. I don't know why I thought I didn't have him. We have four tight ends on the roster. Um, I, don't know, I feel like we didn't. Manhurts is just behind uh, Stoll when it comes to certain packages. That's right. So we got a third and six here. 352 left. Oh, my gosh. That was a thread. Oh, that was so clean. And Harrison just couldn't hang on to it. Jamin Davis with the smackdown. Now the Giants, you know, we got to get right. But this is a tough game. Both teams are, are pretty much trying to do some things that are different. Daniel Jones, he had him play a little bit in the preseason. Not so much because I was scared the dude was going to get hurt. So I'm trying to pay attention to that one. They're going to hand it off to Robinson here. We went with a heavy pass. It. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Maddox is going to try to catch him. I don't think he is. And that should be a holding call, folks. And he's going to go all the way back. Yep, it's holding and it's Dotson. Oh, we got lucky twice now. First and two at the two. We got lucky twice, folks. We got to be careful of that. Rabel very upset. You can see it, but the Giants... Man, oh man, now they got Laub in there because Robinson needs a rest. He ran freaking 98 yards. Plenty of room there. Okereke with the tackle. Gets about 14, so the rookie getting it done on that one. First and 10 at the 41. Defense, you know, continuing to work through different formations. I got Arnold here. They're going for a run. Good tackle. At the 47-yard line, second and three. Single back, wing slot close. Okay. They're going to run it again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he got tripped by Cordell Flott. The defense, man. Come on, D-line. D-line needs to get better here. Coming out of cover one robber. Single back, deuce close. Looking. Oh, it's caught by Dotson. Stiff arm is 32. Oh, my gosh. Dotson smacked Hall in the mouth. Oh, no. Our guys were playing pretty tight. 32 just didn't jump for the ball. And there's the stiff arm right there on Hall. It is first and goal at the two for the uh, commanders here. Defense has to uh, hope for something better right now. They're going for the toss. And there is Brian Burns. His first impact play of the day. Loss of some yards. Second and goal right there. That's what I'm talking about. Second and goal. Defense trying to invite some type of cover here. Pressure coming. He throws it to the flats. 
Robinson gets smoked underneath. He gets flipped. And we got ourselves a third and goal. Well, I saw Michael Penix stat line there. They're down 14 0. He's throwing three picks or something like that already. Penix not looking good. Third and goal. This will be the last play here of this first quarter. And we got a nil nil game. Commanders in decent spot. But Giants offense not looking good. We just got to figure out a way to air it out and, and give ourselves some time. This is just the first game. We have to be patient. Uh, as Giants fans, we tend to lose our mind on things, so we got to remember that too. Here we go. Third and goal. Oh, he sees something. They call an audible here. See what they do. They're going to run it. They saw the soft front. Lyle bouncing around, trying to get through. No luck. Good stop right there by number 91. That's uh, Austin Johnson there. And it'll be fourth and goal, and they're going for it, folks. Timeout. Timeout. I want to know if they're really going to go for it. We didn't have the right goal line set. Uh, my guy did not pull over on that one. Yep. So they're going to change their mind, and they're going to kick a field goal here. We're going to come out and safe just in case. I don't want my uh, dudes uh, messing up here. Yep. They're going to boot it in. So we made them think about it, and they went ahead and changed their mind. They are good to go there. So the Giants are not doing too bad today. 10-24 left here in the half. We got to get the stat line right, though, man. The game needs to get more balanced. And uh, we need to start finding a way through. McKenzie with the chance to return here. McKenzie's got a decent return down at the 23-yard line. 10-21 left here in the half. Good games across the league so far today. It's going to be a good weird year, man. I think... I've seen the schedule already, what it looks like, and I thought it was pretty balanced and a great opportunity for us to, to get it done. DJ's going to take off. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 30. That's a seven-yard gain. That's what I want. I want them to think about some of these potential big, you know, big setups. See, man, that cover two is disguised. I think they're going to get to him. We're going to run it right up their gut. There it is. Devin Singletary gets a big carry, his first carry of the game, and it's for 14 yards. Let's see what Motor can do today, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. First and 10 here. Coming on the three tight end set. Gary Brightwell in the backfield. Hands it off. Brightwell fights forward. I like that. There was a chance for him to get smoked, and he was still able to get four. Second and six here at the 48, looking like a safety blitz. And we're going to try to toss this thing over to Wandale Robinson. But they're going to hand it off to Motor. Motor doesn't get anywhere. No gain. That safety blitz, I shouldn't. I should have passed it no matter what on that one. That's tough right there. So we got a single back set. We're looking at a flood concept here. Better motion Harrison out just to give some more room there. Throws it underneath to Wandell. Wandell gets the first down. He goes out of bounds at the 37. Wandell Robinson with a nice catch. Liking that so far. 740 left here in the half. Giants in decent territory here. Going to hand it off. Singletary nowhere to go. Second and nine. Some of these runs are not easy, man. We got to remember that. Seven minutes left here. We're going to motion Wandale. I kind of want to see what that's going to do. That gives us a little bit of an extra block, but I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Davian Clowney just killed it. We should have ran the opposite way. Loss of three yards there. Man. We're going to go play action here. Oh! Oh my gosh! I thought he had that, man. Fourth and 13. That's tough. Giants have to punt this off. We're just out of range. After that three-yard loss, that put us in a bad spot. 
DJ just doesn't look right. Oh, Richardson missed that, but we still got him inside the 20. 14-7 there I saw with the Jets and the Kansas City uh, and the uh, Dolphins. Then I see a uh, big rip right there. The, night, the rematch of the Super Bowl doesn't go anywhere. Oh, my gosh. A big streak. Banks being trying to chase down McLaren. McLaren able to get to the 37. So Banks makes a big mistake. And, and uh, Daniels is 6-for-6 six six right now. Giants, man. Come on. Wow, nice catch on the back shoulder throw. Seven for seven. They're hoping for uh, some break here, but the rookie's playing good. Second and six. Going to hand it off to Robinson. There it is. Big stop. Good job on the run. Now we're looking at third and seven. It's an obvious uh, passing down here. Shotgun split. Oh my gosh. McLaren gets in. Touchdown, Washington. Oh my goodness. This is a new concept, right? New defense. You know, the defense isn't getting to the QB, though. We need to be better here. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we can do. 10-0, 424 left. The offense just looks weird right now. There you go. Decent blocks up front from what I saw. It's 420. Come on, guys. Someone find a way here. Got a wide four. Wow. That's Martin. Martin's played a really good game today. High formation set. 417 left here in the half. A single back set. Excuse me. They're going for a zone. There goes Gray's first carry. And he gets a first down. Eric Gray getting it done there. I like that. Man, look at that double coverage they got going on over there on Harrison. They really don't want the Rook to get busy. DJ's got time. Hits Slayton. Slayton hangs on to it. Takes a big hit at the 36, but the field has been flipped. There you go. That's what I can appreciate right there. Man, they are really double covering this guy, huh? Audible to a pistol set. We got to call a timeout. We call that really late. 10-0. Gonna uh, come out in a single back set. Two tight ends on the right side of that line. We're going for a, a mesh concept here. DJ had gray! DJ had gray! Oh my gosh, dude. You can't miss that throw, dude. High formation set. We're gonna actually run to the weak side, so we might get a shot on this one. Good block right there. Great blocks up front. Singletary keeping his feet moving. He's gonna get about seven there. Third and three. Giants fans know what's up. Third and three here. Leverage some misdirections here. Let's see if we can get this right. Play action. He's got Bellinger. Big catch right there. And that'll get us to the two minute warning. That's what we needed. Great play right there by Bellinger. And uh, now we're at the two minute warning. Commanders get the ball to start off next half, so we definitely got to make sure we take advantage of this drive here. Preferably a nice tutty would uh, would make this work, but we'll see what we got here. Motioning the line. 
see what we've got. Making it look a little different here. Looks like zone is what they're doing because that guy didn't follow him. And Malachi Corley with the snag on the freaking side. The toe drag swag. DJ threw that way late, um, but Malachi made it work. What a catch. Malachi Corley getting it done. And we got ourselves a nice little play right there. Rookie excited. Hoping to get more time. Claren two for two. He had a tutty. Banks got smoked on that one. Just got to play smart here. Goes over the flats. There he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau with the quick hit. 148 left. Playing that center field role. But Banks with a nice hit, but McLaren hung on to it. Dude, Jaden Daniels is starting the game off 10 for 10 right now. That is pretty crazy. Throws over to the flats, caught by Arnold. Good grab. That's Javarius Owens getting it done there. Second and 10. So Jane Daniels calling an audible here. I am not too worried about this one. Come on, defense. Oh, they go for a freaking draw play? Wow. Weird call, but I guess they really trust it. Weird call. Come on, Burns. Spin move there. Daniels throws it. Big hit! Oh, no! That was a catch, dude! That was a catch! Fourth and one! Giants get a chance with the ball. They got one timeout left. That was a freaking catch! McFadden, it was in your ass, dude! Oh, that is an ugly punt. First and 10 at the 33. Tie game between the Bengals and the Cowboys, 14-14. Zeke's got a tutty as a, uh, after returning to the Cowboys. That's kind of cool. Okay. I see freaking Hyatt over there on the left, man. And it looks like a straight blitz on that right side. We're going to get it to Hyatt. Now's the time. This is cover zero, it looks like. And he's got it. And it's just underthrown. Daniels couldn't, uh, DJ couldn't get that throw right. That is rough, man. Hyatt had a shot at it. 40 seconds left here. Oh, DJ's got Bellinger. Bellinger with the toe drag swag. Wide open. What are they doing? Daniel Bellinger with the big play. DJ rolls out, throws it. He saw him. Oh my goodness. Great throw by Daniel Jones. Great catch by Daniel Bellinger. 35 seconds left here. And I see it again. I can't use it though. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can run it. DJ uh, hits this over to... Single Terry, we're gonna call a timeout there. Second and six. I don't know if that was the right call on that one. We probably should have leveraged something a little different, but you know, we gotta to continue to try to mix it up here. Slayton is the deep post on that. That might work out. Got a play to a flood to the right. Oh my god, he played that. That's oh my gosh. That safety went up to guard the wide receiver. That's kind of crazy. Okay. We're gonna try this one right here. Trips right once again. Harrison's gonna come across the field. Trying this again here. 
Oh my gosh. Throw it away. I don't know what it is, but Clowney is coming in unscathed right now. It was fourth and six, and the Giants have to go ahead and just kick a field goal. Not what we wanted, but at least we're within range and we tie the game. So we get to start the next half. Pretty much 0-0 zero, zero here. But I don't know. That right side is not looking good, man. And it has everything to do, right, with the connection of the interior line with the tackles. And Illuminor may not be able to lean on that right side because he's worried about Evan Neal. And we have to think about that. Oh, man. Might have to make a change at the half, but they're going to hand it off here to Robinson. Robinson cutting up. He's going to get smoked right there. Empty base now. I do not. Yeah, this is good right here. This dollar. Pull back. 12 seconds left. Yeah, he used to throw that quick. Nine seconds left. Let's see what they do here. McLaren slotted on the right. Burns coming in hot. He's got to throw it away. There you go. Second incomplete pass today. I'm always worried about that's a Hail Mary so we should be okay right tackle Wiley's been playing great oh Burns there it is knocked out of his hand so again the defense is finding ways they're starting to find their stride here halfway through this game Daniel Jones though he is so hit or miss right now. We got to get that right. We've thrown the ball 23 times today. We need to be better. So it looks like the Packers have a 10-7 lead over there against Kyler Murray with their confused offseason. It was such a strange deal, man. They didn't draft wide receivers. They they were doing some weird prior... Like, I don't know what's going on with that regime, but it is not good. The... Um, Packers actually had a decent draft. Patriots actually did pretty well. Uh, we'll see how they go with Drake May. Hits the slant there to McLaren. That's Banks with the miss. Banks looks off, man. He's going against a really good receiver, though. McLaren gives a lot of people trouble. This is a cover zero concept here. You need somebody to get through. There it is. Throws it on the... There you go. Good defense. That's Bryce Hall right there. Empty bench set. Do not let them loose. We're going for a tight end screen. That gets smoked immediately. So we got like four consecutive incomplete passes for Jaden Daniels today. That's an accomplishment in its own, man. Let's see if these guys can play this out. Playing on the outside. Riley finding some room there. He's in trouble. That's a sack. Came on Thibodeau. He gets a sack for today. There you go. The second of the day for the Giants. Cave on Thibodeau coming in hot. That was Jordan Riley finding some leverage there. He's a late round pick from the uh, 2023 draft that I thought he had, a, he had a pretty good look, and they just got to continue to train him and get him in the right spot. But Riley could do some good things this year. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Let's continue to, to work through this. Don't do anything stupid. They made an adjustment at the line. Oh, we got to go for this. This is a bad setup right now for the, for the commanders. This is bad. We got a one-on-one -on -one with Harrison. DJ's throwing this deep. That's safety. Oh, what a trickery right there. That safety was playing so far to the right side. I thought we had that one. So now we're looking at second and 10. 
Oh, that's brutal. I thought we had that. Pistol set here. Going for a run. Singletary fighting for the yards. He gets three. The thing with Ter Singletary, right? He's not going to get the, the, the like a serious amount of yards on one run. But he does get the hard yard. It's just tough, man. This is interesting here. We're going to try a halfback angle, maybe. With Singletary. Yeah, they're doing, man, the weird setups they got going on. All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. DJ. DJ's got to throw that better, man. So the Giants are three and out on that one. Oh, that one hurts, man. Bellinger ran a good route. Oh, there is 24. He's taking off. Able to stiff arm the punter. And Laub gets to the 42. He's pumped about it. Giants, man. Special teams with a big mistake right there. Throws it right in the middle. Good tackle. Great tackle right there. And that's MVS. He doesn't have far to go on that one. Liking it so far, man. Come on. Second and two. They're going to hand it off. And that's a big mistake. Mike Donna getting it done. And now there's an injury on the field. That's an old lineman. Uh-oh. Third and four now. Let's see what they decide to do. I'm assuming pass here. Oh, my God. Gosh, dude, no way! Dotson with a great route run on a freaking hitch, and the Giants give up a first down. First and 10 at the 39. Looks like uh, he's reading something. Wide bunch right. Defense trying to get set here. And there it is. Big mistake. Brian Burns with another huge play. Second and 14 right there. You love that, man. I think Daniels tried to play a little too smart there. He paid the price. Pressure coming in. Oh, Burns can't get him. There goes Daniels. He's using his legs. He's going to get hit, but he's down in the red zone. Oh, my gosh. We had that, man. We had that, fellas. Robinson in the backfield. They're going to run it. He's got plenty of room right there. Stiff arming Azizul Jalari, but he's able to tackle him at the eight second and inches. We got a single back deuce close set here. It's calling an audible. Nice catch right there by number two. There's a flag on the play. Oh, holding call. That is right tackle Andrew Wiley. So they get stuffed right there. They got a strong side set. Play smart here. Got a zone here. 525 left here in the third. They're going for a play action. Hits Robinson right underneath. It's going to be third and three. On defense. I'm responsible for Arnold. Oh, no! Banks gets smoked, man! What is wrong with Deontay Banks, man? How is he getting beat like this? Oh, he, like, hesitated. And the commanders get it done. Daniels gets his first passing touchdown as a giant. So 450 left here in the third quarter. Nice move right there by McKenzie down at the 27. Let's see what we can do here. 
Got Bellinger on the drag. Bellinger gets hit quickly, second and five. Four fifteen left here in the third quarter. There goes Singletary. He fights for the first. I like it, man. Now the Giants are starting to just grind. It's time to run. Hands it off again. Singletary finds the room. He's fighting. He gets to the 47. Nine-yard gain. I am liking the run right now by this team. Giants are trying to get back to the balance where we can. Here we go, halfback base. Singletary follows his blocks. He's down at the 43. First and 10. So it's a trips tight end right. We're going to run to the left here for Brightwell. There it is. Brightwell's got room. That guy's going to miss him. Here goes Brightwell fighting with the safety, and that's a big first down for the Giants. So now they are making them think, right? Are they going to, when are they going to pass the ball? And the Giants are just like, let's just keep the ball on the ground. No reason to do anything stupid here. They can't stop the run. And there goes Singletary taking off. He's going to get to the two. He's close. Pushed at the one. Pushed at the one. 11 for 74 today for Devin Singletary. What a play right there. Giants fans going crazy right now. They are pumped. They saw a bunch of passes happening. Now they're getting back to the run game. Good block up front. 51 stops them right at the one. No gain. Single back set. That is J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. Trips left. Could do an RPO here. We're just going to run it up the gut. There goes Dobbs. Fights forward. Touchdown, New York football giants. J.K. Dobbins scores his first time here as a New York football giant. Welcome to the blue, baby. Jones is pumped about it. We just changed the, the game plan there, right? They expected a ton of chances or opportunities to, uh, to deal with the pass game, and we decided to just run it. And that really switched the game right there. That was tons of, I think it was like six runs in a row. Take what you can get, man. Once we started finding a rhythm there, that's sweet. 43 seconds left here in the third quarter, and the New York football Giants got ourselves a 17-17 game here. It'll come down to who will get the ball last, basically. Daniels had a pretty good drive, but 39 yards. Uh, I'll, I'll be okay with that. Oh, play action. Daniels in trouble. He's going to try to take off running there. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how he's still up. Way, way to run it right there. I don't know what's going on with that D-line, but it, like, crisscrossed for some reason. Uh, first and 10 here. Three seconds left. They're going to pass it. Big blitz. Avante Maddox getting to him. Daniels on the ground right at the end of this quarter. The New York football giants tied up with the commanders here. Who is going to get this done, folks? I like the blitzes so far. They've done some good things. Just need to hold it down here. We've got an audible called Lob in the backfield. Just throws a back shoulder throw there to Ertz, and he hangs on to it, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Little check down city right now. Empty bench. Defense making the adjustments there. There goes Daniels. Throws a little run. It's defended. Banks gets it shut down. And it's fourth and 13 at the 42-yard line. I like it right here. 10-20 left here. There goes McKenzie ready to roll. Chance to return. He's got room to the left side. 
Oh, what a play by 35 or 30 is at 35 first and 10 at the 19 So we leaned on the run game last time And I don't think we need to neglect it, but oh Wow, they are playing a really wide Setup here run the ball again What are they doing? Hands it off on the inside split. And Singletary gets six yards there. That was like a free. That was free yards right there. Now they're coming in for a blitz. Looking at an RPO here. Hands it off. Singletary gets three on that one. Third and one. Singletary 14 for 82 today. It's definitely been used uh, quite a bit, but the O-line's uh, getting it done right now. Quick hike. Easy. There he goes. Singletary. 97 yards. 15 for 97. Giants fans are ecstatic right now. The team is running fairly well. First and 10. Now, can we get this... Uh, and we get this play action going. There it is, Wandale. Oh man, he had to he had to catch it from behind. You gotta lead him, DJ. Oh, that was a bad throw. Second and eight here. Seven forty left here in this one. Good catch by Singletary. Oh, he almost got loose. Third and four. Third and four at the 50. We got a weird situation here. What is going on? Oh my gosh, he's by himself. Singletary coming out of the flat. And he is down to the 31. What a weird. What are they doing? First and 10 here. Outside zone. There goes Singletary again. Oh, uh, he hits a century mark. We got a guy with 100 yards on the first game. Unbelievable. Good blocking right there. J.K. Dobbins fighting forward. He's going to get to the 23. Third and two. So there is plenty of opportunity here for, for any kind of concept. We could run the ball if we want to. We can pass the ball if we want to. And I got to trust my freaking line. We're going to run it. There it is. Look at the blocks. Singletary again. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with the commanders, man? Now it's trip tight end. They are definitely going to think we're going to run the ball now. And there he goes. No! Wilson <laughs> was open! It was open. Oh my gosh. Oh, DJ is killing me, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, DJ, you're killing me, bro. Hands it off. Great blocking up front. Single Terry trying to get to the outside. Not much room there. He's now touched the ball 18 times. Well more than we expected. But you got to try. So here we go. Third and seven. Let's see if we can get this right here. Come back round. And it's caught. What a time round by DJ. Marvin Harrison Jr. with his first touchdown as a New York football giant. DJ set his feet. He threw that before the cutback. And the Giants 
have taken the lead here. Oh my goodness. Fans are going crazy right now. 23 to 17, folks. 355 left here. And that was an incredible drive. 150 yards through the air. Definitely not the 350 that we were expecting, but let's see where we're going. Wow, look at the Eagles. Now that's a team, right? They stacked up this freaking offseason. And they got Saquon Barkley. Like they are ready to attack. So, you know, we'll see what happens now for the for them. But man, oh man, this is looking pretty good here. Line shifts over. They're going to hand it off, and that goes nowhere. Big stop right there by the Giants. That's Drake Jackson, the former Niner there, getting involved. Let's see what we got here, folks. Who's getting to the QB? Pressure coming in. That's McFadden. Oh, that's Kayvon. Big sack by Kayvon Thibodeau. Third and 12. Fourth sack for the Giants today. Empty base. And I appreciate this right here. You freaking feed, man. Pressure coming in. Throws it over the top. It's caught by Ertz. Ertz has some room. Owen's trying to stop him. He's not going down. No! What the hell just happened? Oh, my goodness. The commander's scoring a break. A huge mistake. Oh, we sent the blitz, man. Maddox dove for that. But look at the... Everyone's trying to shove Ertz, and he just... You can't do that. He's bigger than us. And the Commanders have tied the game here after this extra point. 24 to 24, folks. What are we doing wrong? Big mental error there. Look at the freaking Cowboys beating the brakes off the, the Bengals now. They have found their stride. But it's okay. We just got to play smart here. We got 233 left. That is time. Let's see if they can take advantage of it here. Empty bench set. They're trying to QB spy, and there goes DJ. Goes out of bounds right before the first down. But you use your legs. Do it smart. Don't get crazy here. Play smart. Right up the middle there. Great blocks. There goes Singletary. He finds some room. He's not going down. And the motor gets it done there. That'll get us to the two-minute warning, folks. Fans are on their feet. Can they get it done here? They have, we have ran the ball so well. We're going to try a draw play here. See if that stops them. It does. Big mistake right there. JMS with the freaking push. And it's first and 10 inside commander territory. Fans can't believe it. Now they're playing like a, playing back like crazy. Let's try a read option here. Hands it off. Singletary able to get to the 41 there. Clock continues to run. We just need a couple yards here. Just a couple. 105 left. There goes DJ. Able to get past Clowney. And there goes DJ. <laughs> what the hell, Jeremy Chin? Oh my goodness. First and 10. First and 10 at the 16, 58 seconds left here. We're going to run the ball, just not do anything stupid. Good blocking right there. And there goes Brightwell. They're going to start calling timeouts. They know the issue they're dealing with here. They're trying to strip the ball. We're just running conservative. Quick hike there. 
There goes Singletary. Singletary fighting forward. Down at the one. Now the Giants know we could just kneel it and then kick a field goal, but I say run it, man. There you go. Singletary, touchdown! New York Football Giants! Devin Singletary! The new weapon for the Giants. Oh, baby! Let's go! This O-line just transformed into a machine. The hell's that about? And there you have it. We got ourselves a... 31 to 24 game now as long as we don't screw this up let's play smart no more pressing let's just play back a little bit cover two cover three concepts when necessary we cannot let them beat us yeah michael Penix, man oh he only threw one pick but he was like real bad but it did not go so well for them pull back a little bit like i said we are not gonna let them beat us here 47 seconds left here that was a quick shot. There goes Ertz again. The defense is getting smoked right there, man. Come on, guys. 26 seconds left. Throws it again. Dotson's going to get to about the 35. They call a timeout. Cover four quarters is the concept here. Come on, defense. Trying to pressure. Daniel's trying to extend the play. He throws it away, and the Giants are able to get it done there. Second and 10. Fans are losing their mind right now. Come on, defense. There it is. He extends the play and he has to throw it away again. Great game for Daniels for sure. But as long as the defense can find a way, man, it's a good one. They're double teaming. Burns trying to find a way. He's going for the Hail Mary. Two, one, tap, game over. Giants win. There you go. Fans going crazy saying, I think we got it, baby. 31 to 24. The New York football giants start this season with the dub for the first time in I don't know freaking how long. We don't have too many of those. But what a game today. Daniel Jones did not play so well. 13 for 27 for 160, but he threw two tutties, no picks. He checked down a lot. But it's okay. And yeah, that was a tough one there. Singletary balled out, man. 23 for 149 and a tutty. This guy had a ridiculous game. Just chunks and chunks and chunks of yards. Brightwell had a good game today. I really can't complain. We used Daniel Jones for a little bit, three for 41. Bellinger, three for 57. Slayton, two for 33. Harrison, two for 21 in a tutty. Corley had a touchdown. Man, it was a good day. No sacks given up. We had two tackles for loss for Donna, Burns, and Kayvon Thibodeau. And then we had two sacks by Thibodeau and one by Lawrence and Maddox. I was really proud of that. Look at that. Bryce Hall, three freaking deflections. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau won and D Banks won. I thought this team played as best as they could uh, based on certain situations. That was really awesome to see. So as far as the camp stand out, you know, uh, Aziz didn't get anything. It happens, but we just didn't have him out there, and he honestly wasn't missed. Didn't really. We got Burns. We got Kayvon. I just don't see that much after that, but here we go. Uh, we didn't execute our plan the, like we wanted, but getting the win is what matters most, which we were able to do. Not every win is going to be pretty, but any week that we're able to come out on top has to be considered a success. Everyone gets 1,000 XP. Coach gets five points. Hey, man, we get a win. That's all I can ask for. So based on what I'm seeing right now, I, I think the team is, is doing what they can. 
we got to figure out some other pieces along the way, but that was freaking fun to play. DJ just needs to open it up just a little bit. We may try to do some things uh, with the second wide receiver. I really didn't see much from Slayton, and I'm, with, I'm wondering if we just do this. Could that change it up? We can move Hyatt to the outside. Maybe we'll, see, we'll try that out and see how that looks. But all in all, man, that was freaking fun. We will go ahead and advance it here, and this is where we will leave it. Week number two is up, and it will be against the 1-0 Seattle Seahawks. They made some changes in this offseason. They honestly had a decent draft. Interested in seeing who we're going to go against today, but I think they got a good group. Them letting go of Quandry Diggs and Jamal Adams was a big deal, but I think they got some other pieces like the former Giant Julian Love there to hold it down at strong safety and uh, Kobe Bryant over at free safety. So I think they're still pretty freaking good. Um, so we'll see what happens next time, but that'll do it for us today. If you like what you saw, please drop a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and most importantly, Subscribe to keep up with the series. The New York football giants are on top, and I am really pumped about this. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Y'all have yourself a good one, everybody. And as always, let's go Big Blue.